Now we are going to start with a unit that is the food production and management. As you all know that uh, the food which we get in the form of crops uh, or you can say the crops which are uh, meant for pr producing the food and many other products that is uh, that plays a very important role and that falls under the branch of the science that is the agriculture. So agriculture is the practice of growing plants and rearing animals for food and other items. So that means the in agriculture what we do we plant uh, crops and we also rear animals and they are fulfilling our needs. So if we talk about crops like crops are also plants but uh, the plants when they are grown on large scale they are called as crops. Plants when they are grown on the large scale then it is called as crop. So for example if you are planting a plant suppose a rose plant in a pot so that is not a crop that is only a plant but when you are planting plants on a large scale and then it is called as crops. Now we are going to study about the classification. So we can actually uh, classify crops uh, depending upon different uh, factors like we can uh, classify depending upon the season which they, uh, which they uh, require for the growth. We can classify based on the agriculture production that what they are producing and for what purpose we are using them and depending upon the lifespan we can classify them also. So uh, starting with the first classification that is in which season uh, they grow well. So we have two kinds of crops. One is the kharif crop, other is the rabi crop. See kharif crops are called as uh, the summer crops. They are called as summer crops and rabi crops are called as winter crops. As they are sown in June, July that when, uh, when there is uh, so much hot weather around and they are harvested in September, October. But if you talk about rabi, they are sown in October, December that is in the winter time and they are harvested when the uh, winter is just about to end that is the March, April. It requires more water for their growth, they require comparatively less water that is why they grow in winter season. Example paddy, we know that paddy need much water so that means uh, because uh, between these months there are rainy seasons as well so that means they grow well because they need more water for their growth. And the rabi required less water for example wheat so it is uh, this is how you are going to classify. So we have different crops depending upon the time of their sowing and harvesting we classify them into kharif or rabi crop. Now moving on to the another classification that is on the agriculture production that what they are forming actually. So we have two kinds of crops one is a cash crops and one we have is a food crops. Cash crops are those which are grown for the commercial value that means they are actually being used uh, in industries and all like cotton, jute, sugar cane, cocoa. So they are actually being used in making any other items like some is used in making nets, fabrics and this way. But uh, the one is the food crops, food crops are those which are meant for the consumption. We are going to eat them, we are going to consume them in the form of food. For example, cereals, pulses and also cereals, pulses they are not used in any making any um, thing, any non-living thing, it, they are just used as a food because it provides us energy. Now moving on to the third classification that is the lifespan. So depending upon the lifespan, we have three kinds, one is the annual crop, biennial crop and perennial crop. Annual cr uh, crop is one which complete life cycle in one season or you can say in one year. So that means they need one year or one season to complete its complete lifespan. Example paddy, biennial by means two, so they need uh, minimum two years to complete their life cycle or two seasons you can say that is like carrot, radish. We have perennial also which require more than two years for the completion of their life cycle like mango, coffee. So this is how you are going to classify crops. So I think you are much aware of the introduction about this chapter that what is in agriculture, what is crops, how you can classify the crop as kharif, rabi or uh, cash crop or food crop or biennial, perennial or annual. So now we will start further. So this is what is a basic intro about this chapter what we are going to study here but we will go much deep into it that what farmer actually do or how or what are the steps which are used in the agriculture practices and all. So this is very interesting chapter we should know like everybody should know about it because the farmer is putting a lot of effort to uh, plant crops and as a result we get food which we need to survive.